guys i'm making welcome back to another video another bang a bang a bang 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 yes welcome back to another video guys i'm making red herring and aki so this is my red herring this is not the first video so just continue watch and if you miss out on anything go down they go check it out zin so anyway here's my red herring and my onion i just cut up everything together and so what I do I'm gonna start with this little make it fry a little and then here I got my aki over here draining so we're gonna pour in the aki after that fry up make it fry up a little you know not too much you don't want the onion fry out too much so just let it fry a little so I'll be back when I'm ready to put in the aki because I have to use both hands to stir it I don't want it to over, the onion to overcook yes guys yeah so I'm matching up some breakfast in the morning you know aki and ready ring try that aki and start with you so aki and ready ring so that's what it look like when I pour in the aki I'm not gonna get a taller spoon to stir it up. So guys, I won't stir it too much because you know I'm gonna keep my sauce stirring butter. So just try and turn on the fire, make it, make it simmer down. Let the aki grab this flavor, the red herring. Make each other grab this flavor, make them love up each other. And everybody come one. <laughs> So guys, this is my aki and red herring, you know, so guess what, I have to put on the phone to get everything combined together and make everything come capacetic, so love dry peace and happiness. Yes guys, that's my finishing red herring and aki. Yes man, and just onion, you know, I only have onion and black pepper, so when you're doing yours, you can put a little bell pepper, otherwise it's called sweet pepper or whatever you want to put in it it's up to you okay have a good day yeah so guys that's my aki and red herring and guess what me going mat mats up this you know with some fried dumpling guess what i do i make the fried dumpling and put them in the fridge cover them plastic put them in a plastic put it in a plastic bag i already need the dough and I put it in a plastic bag. That's the best way to get some nice fried dumpling. You know, make your fried dumpling early. Cover it with a plastic and put it in the fridge. And when you're ready, you just sprinkle a little flour on it. And you make your little round dumpling and drop in at the frying pan. They come out so nice and soft and fluffy. A lot of people do that, you know, and they don't tell you that's what they do to get them dumpling nice and soft and fluffy. But that's how I do it, my dear. Or madam, or sir, or whosoever watching me. So, guys... Remember to like. I'm not even say share, you know. I know but not share my video more than so. So remember to like, comment as usual. Yes, because I mean where you guys now ramp with the comment section, you know. So bless up yourself. Maya, you know this what this is one of your favorite dishes, you know, Aki. Yeah, me I send some for you in a plastic in a zip like you here. Yes, man, some I come over for you in a ziplock. I go freeze it. Just as I cook up here now, freeze it with two dumplings at the side. When you come, you just dash it in the microwave. Bling! <laughs> Bless up yourself, girl. And keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Guys, love you know. Peace, love, joy, and happiness, you know. And that may I bring straight from my heart, you know. Zin! Guys, that's my fried dumpling to go with my aki and red herring. That's how I fry my dumpling. So that's what I was telling you about. So you, they are so soft. See, let me squeeze one and show you. See, so soft. So what you can do, you use a knife and cut this open. Put your aki or whatever you're going to eat. Make a sandwich, put it down the, in there. Voila. See, guys, I don't want to break it. Very soft. Yeah man, so guess what? I'm gonna work this with some aki and red herring, see? What it look like inside. Yeah, very soft. So
also have um, three more over here going here and see so I fried it in a little in a um, small amount of oil and put it on a low flame yeah, this one I get golden brown yes man so, so that's my bread around our big dumpling or whatever you call it mm -hmm. wow this one getting golden brown but it's okay when you take it off turn it off but these two need to do some more so so let me take out this one so guys this is my dumpling going with my aki and red earring yes man so when i get this when i finish now i just slice this dumpling in two and i put the red herring inside and make a sandwich voila i made that yes guys that's what it look like the dumpling see I use the fork and open it and then I push the aki and red herring down in there. You can make any sandwich like this. Your egg, your sausage, you, you just do your dumpling like this. So that recipe coming up how to make this dumpling. Stay tuned. Next I'm going to show you how to make it. And you just close it down. And you make your big bite. Aki right down in it, you know guys. Straight down in it. I push the aki. So guess what, my mouth running water, I'm going to eat right now. Until I'm ready to eat. Yeah man, me like keep my food cover up, you know. So it's a little hot day right now, so I'm just going to barely catch it. So guys, remember, you know, you don't have to cook up your ackee and saltfish with the saltfish. You, know? you can use red herring. I enjoy my one with red herring more than saltfish. Whenever I eat saltfish, guys, it gives me a turbo headache. So guess what? I enjoy it with the red herring. I tried it the other day and I come back and I do it again. I may mean, tell you, it turn up. Yes, man, it, the flavor, it turn up, turn up. Like how Jamaican sun turn up right you now and the heat turn up. Yes, it turn up. So guess what? I okay, can't try it, you know. Just get your red herring, cut off the head and the tail, strip it off with the knife. There's a little gold skin and it just strip off all that gold skin you open the red hair in that one you pick out all those little fine bone and you cut it up fine and you put it in a pot and let it boil for about two minutes i do my own like that i don't know if you boil or yours boil for about two minutes and then you throw off the water and then you pick it up or you cut it up and pick out the rest of bone and stuff and then i use that voila are you ready in that you can have red herring, cook down red herring with a lot of tomato, give it a lot of gravy with your boiled dumpling or your fried dumpling. Guys, anything you want, you do, you do it. Remember me say so. So guys, bless up on yourself. Peace, love, joy, and happiness, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's all about food, you know. When you come, come on to food, it's like me, you go cuckoo. So guys, I'm going to eat, you know, my motor on water. I'm fry my dumpling. I'm not going to eat. I'm going to fry my dumpling. One day I'm going to make the dumpling and show, no? but guess what? Time is on me this morning. I can't do it this morning. But one day I'm going to take you guys right through the process how I make my dumpling. Zine, peace out.